one of the mistakes i'll be sharing today is not using reference for your drawing what are reference reference are actually the pictures that you choose when drawing like the the high quality images that you choose when you are about to draw if you can't have idea that if you don't have high quality reference space for drawing that's just it you need to go to google search for reference piece for drawing or if it's a, about a man that you want to draw a reference picture of a man uh, that the one you want to draw and then you select there are many high quality images that can you can get ideas from photoshop image images black and white images all those types that's how you cannot just create something like in this drawing now uh, i didn't create it myself it, it was a reference piece that i used to draw this to make this drawing i didn't create all this whole stuff i can create it but it will not be as perfect as this so you have to go use reference reference piece for your drawing it really helps a lot the second mistake is heavy outline you can see that in this drawing that i made this line thick it was actually when i was starting when i was starting to draw when before starting to draw i made the line thick that's why the thing is not realistic when you want to start drawing first use your pencil and create light line very light line so that when you are done and you want to you want to erase you can erase but if you start with thick lines or you use your pen and start making thick thick lines it will not look hyper realistic you have seen many artists do made this mistake inside that you're supposed to blend into light you are making it thick and because of that you cannot clean it that's one of the things that make your work look bad okay next one is starting with details some artists literally made the mistake of just starting to detail the drawing like that it does not work like that you can never achieve high parallelity like this this is really bad you have to first create your layers consult your layers then you move from light to dark that's how you get hyper realistic i made those mistakes here because i wanted to just get the skin texture i want i wanted to just make the work beautiful i don't want to go through the process it's you look very bad look at the drawing is really really bad very very bad because i was just jumping to detailing it jumping to creating circles and making bringing out the skin texture not knowing that i have to cross hatch and hatch it then before starting to scribble with so that it can look okay the next one is no guideline when drawing you should be able to mark out the light part in a drawing let's say you are marking out that this side is light and then this side is dark you are blending from here to here don't do it with pen no i'm not using this drawing that's why i want to show you and then with this when you do it with pencil when shading then you will understand even if without the picture literally make make the joy maybe from here you mark out the dark side see this dark side is blending to here this dark side will be blending to here and this side it has light that's how just mark everything up so that it can be easier more understandable for you when you want to blend the next mistake that most of you guys make is not practicing no see it's not about being a pen artist especially pen artist you need to draw like you need to keep practicing until you are perfect this drawing i made this drawing uh, recently it was a commission that work and i'm making for someone you see as i'm going i'm making more atos and i'm getting more good i'm getting more i'm getting more skills on this so for you to improve you need to practice more you need to practice like every day if you want to really improve you don't like your stage in art you want to improve to something excellent to to become a pro artist i why not take this as assignment to draw every day 
I draw every day. I've not re remember the day that went by that I didn't draw. I draw every day. If you draw every day, you improve every day. Figure out your own technique. You figure out your own style. Try to do every day and see how your art goes under one year. It was my artwork last year, September 2021. But see my artwork now. You can compare the difference. I was drawing every day. It's just one year difference. So draw every day to get hyper realism to learn more things in artworks. The next mistake is using the same technique for all drawing. An African man has pores in, your, uh, in his skin and he has wrinkles. So if you are using scribbling to scribbling, it's okay. But an American person, like someone that has smooth face, you don't need audio scribbling unless it was a close shot but if it's a a, a shot that's far that covered the whole face you need to use hatching and cross hatching you need to use hatching and cross hatching this is hatching and then you cross hatch this is the one you need to use it doesn't need all the scribbling it doesn't need all those stuffs in the drawing because the guy you want to draw doesn't have force he doesn't have all these wrinkles many artists made a mistake even i have seen artists that want to draw water and they are adding scribbling or or, or they are making the kind of technique they should use for the skin they're using it for the water it will never work water has a very smooth surface it doesn't need any skin texture and pores so you have to add that another reason i say that you should draw every day if you draw every day you understand all these stuff so you will not make all those silly mistakes when you are drawing like and like this video and subscribe to this channel i'll be dropping more tutorials that will help you in that the next one is comparing yourself to other artists it's literally not a bad idea if you say you want your artwork to look like this but you cannot just wake, wake up and get artwork to look like this i cannot just wake up and say i want my artwork to look like that you have to work towards it that guy spent uh, spent six months in drawing while i made this drawing only for two weeks so i cannot use two weeks of my drawing to compare someone that made six months and be killing myself i want to make an artwork like this and some other artists will just quit because the artwork doesn't look good you have to keep on trying you will get you will understand more things about the drawing then you will figure out your own style figure out your own way to make your drawings because you cannot be comparing yourself to other artists you cannot be comparing someone that is drawing since 14 years ago i cannot be comparing myself with me that just started last year no so just understand be you be free and do your artwork don't be oppressed if even if the artwork is not good upload it like that post it on internet if they say it, some people will say it's not good some people will say also say it's good just stick it like that keep making drawing keep making artworks one day you will get really really good the next one is finding on the two you need to practice on i started making drawings but when i was starting i made pencil drawings you see this at all i made it early this year with pencil i didn't know anything about it but what i'm trying to say is i found joy in drawing with pen then i start making pen joy it doesn't mean that if you bring pencil drawing that i cannot make but since i have start improving i've known my style i've found the kind of what i found found the kind of artwork i want to make i found that i really love making this kind of artwork that's why i start making pen artworks all my drawing now are pen it doesn't mean that i doesn't i didn't draw with pencil i drew with pencil before but now i found out my style is really drawing with pen you can really find out your style and joy it mustn't be that you will be a pen artist you get charcoal artists, you can be a graphite pencil artist, you can draw marvelously with pencil. Just find out if this is really what you want, then you work towards it. But if it is you if it is pencil that you are good in and you you want to improve in that, then you improve more in that type. Find your style first. Don't just combine the two of them. You must be good in one and bad in the other one. That's true. The one you are you concentrate more on, you will be good 
and the other one you will not be that good because if you bring pencil drawing for me now i will do it but it will not be as beautiful that as i do it with pen this is what i work on this is what i try and try to explain find the kind of one you want to make if it is pen if it is pencil if it is color then you work towards it then this last one is killing most all of us well not all but especially me not being patient many artists have problem with this you just want to watch the work and come out with good results you just want to come out and bump up and be cool and make the drawing beautiful and forget that you have to stress for all this you don't watch your work you have to be patient with your work like in this drawing i spent two weeks complete two weeks in making it so if you see it and you say it's very beautiful for, don't forget that the stress of drawing the water, drawing the the coily hair, drawing the water, the face, everything. It's too good wish. Artists draw for three months. Some, some draw for six months. That have been the far the highest that I've known for now. If you want to make the hyper realistic drawing, you cool down and do the artwork. You bend down and make the artwork. You get the best result out of the artwork like and subscribe to this channel i'll be dropping more tips and secrets more tutorials that will help you in art especially pen art i'll help you even pencil art i'll really help you in others 